come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. What's up, ladies and gents? We are back, back to back. I'd like to drink this to uh, Meek Mill, if you guys know anything about hip hop. <laughs> anyway, this time we did the movie Getting Away. It's another short. This one was about nine minutes, a little more, more or less. <clears throat> about nine minutes, nine and a half minutes. Um, this is another, it was another fun film. I will say that. I'm going to tell you something that really bothered me about this movie, though. And it's when the girl is making the potatoes. And she puts about six pounds of potatoes in a pot. Normal. She sprinkles hardly any seasoning on it. So, tink, tink, like two little sprinkles of salt. That bugged me. That bugged me a lot. And I'm not even lying. We, I literally just watched this movie on YouTube. It's on YouTube. We, I did the share screen so we could watch it at the same time. And as soon as I seen that, I called it out. <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> but he said, Yo, I agree. She barely put anything on there. And it's like, I wonder if that's what upset the person in this movie that was after her. But, um, he's just trying to show her how to cook. <laughs> that's, yes, that's what, that would upset me. And I mean, other than, I mean, I didn't, okay, here's one thing I didn't like also, but I did like the film. But was the sound effects at, at the end of the movie, I'm not going to say what happened. I just didn't really like the sound effects for that. And I mean, like, again, it was one of those films where it was only nine minutes, nine and a half minutes, so you can only do so much into it. Mm -hmm. But this, yeah, as you said during the movie, you said it kind of reminds you of like a scream kind of sort of, or a, um, when a stranger calls, both of those mm -hmm. would both fit. So, yeah, that's, that's like, my take on it. I do love, which I don't want to spoil it for you guys, because I want you guys to see it for yourselves, but I do love what they did when the girl was texting back and forth and when she was getting text messages. I love the way they showed it in this mm -hmm. film, and I actually feel that's how it should be shown in films from here on out, if you ask me, mm -hmm. because it just seems, it just looks so much better, so much better. Oh, yeah. and the camel toe in the movie. I seen it. <laughs> Horror gamer scene. I called it out. He started laughing at me again, laughing with me, whatever the case may be. But horror gamer, go ahead and take it over, man. Man, but like you said, you know, the whole eight pounds of potatoes, three little squirts of salt didn't work for me either. But not nah, like like you said, it was fun, and I did say, you know, during this movie that uh, it had that, it had that scream slash when a stranger call feel to it. Like, like he said, we're not going to get into major detail with what happened, but the way that this person was kind of getting toyed with throughout, and I'm not giving anything away by saying that, um, it was it's almost genius, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. each time it got worse and worse, you know what I mean? Until the big climactic, whatever. Um there was a scene that did feel kind of like Resident Evil 4 in a certain <laughs> way. In a certain way. Um, that was, uh, I was like, I saw that, and it was one of those things where, you know, your butthole puckers just a little bit, you know, when you hear this certain sound effect. And, uh, um, but no, it was good. Like you said, I believe, I'm right there with you when you said about this is how they should do text messaging in movies from here on out. Yeah. Because that, once a, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, once again, here, here you have a lower budget independent short doing something better than Hollywood did. 
because in Hollywood, they just show you the phone. Here, they were a little more creative with all of it to keep you enthralled in it. And like I said, I agree with you 100%. Hollywood should actually take a point from this and do this from now on. You know what I mean? Agreed, man. I think Hollywood, other indie films, I just feel like it was the right way to do things as far as that goes. I mean, listen, people, in these movies, when you're showing people cooking and seasoning food, season the food like you're going to eat it. Season the food like your black or Spanish friends are going to come over and enjoy some food with you. Don't season it for, you know, Karen. Karen doesn't know. Karen's going to complain if you put too much seasoning on it. And I'm just joking, people, just to make some laughs. But season your food, please. Please. And don't put raisins in potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that. Uh-oh. That bacon and cheese look pretty good, though. Yo. <laughs> that bacon and cheese look fire. She was eating some bacon and cheese and wine in her little T-shirt and her little panties. or b- What is it? No, it's boy shorts, right? Yeah, kind of boy yeah. short panties. Yeah. yeah. Boy shorts or booty shorts. I don't freaking know. I can't keep up. I don't wear that kind of stuff, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Put some clothes on. <laughs> this, is kind of, <laughs> this is the kind of show I tuned into. Two guys wearing booty shorts talking about horror movies. <laughs> that might be a good idea, but it's not for me. I, can't, I No, I won't do um, it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think you'd want to see you booty shorts. Nope. I mean, I'm always down for anything, but... but <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there's a line. There's a line you just don't cross. <laughs> uh. But, um... I guess since I made you do the rating thing for the first movie, I'll do it for this one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say from one to ten seasonings, how many seasonings would you give this movie? <laughs> I had to use seasonings, man. I had to use seasonings. And I'll even go first with that. And I'm going to give it a solid seven. I mean, again, I wish that there was more. I wish that it could have been longer, and you got kind of more of a story. But at the same time, this is kind of one of those. This is kind of one of those films to where it could be shot in the location it was shot in one place, pretty much, mm-hmm. and go on like similar to when a stranger calls, where it's just in the one house. Mm-hmm. But again, I would love to see this be forty-five minutes to an hour and a half ish. Mm-hmm. And I, I had fun with the film, though. I really did. Yeah. I had a couple of gripes, like I said, the sound effects for the, the end, the climax or whatever you want to call it for the end. Mm-hmm. I wasn't too crazy about it, but it didn't bother me to the point of, oh, this sucks. I just wish the sound effects were a little bit better and like the emotion was a little bit better for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you can, you can complain about when certain things are going on, what do you know, how are you saying, you know, you should probably call the authorities now? Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, it's a horror film. Horror films have to horror film, which means mm-hmm. people do dumb shit or else we wouldn't have a horror film for the most part. <laughs> but, no, overall, I really did enjoy this movie. Like I said, I gave it a seven. I do feel you guys should check it out. And as I said in the previous video, the link for the actual film will be down below. And then the YouTube channel will be at the end of the video as well as Horror Gamers YouTube channel. Now, go ahead, sir. Well, I'm going to put a little more seasoning than she did on the potatoes on this one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. And the reasoning behind me giving it an 8.5 is everything that you said. Um, but like I said, for some reason, it really, like, the, the way they did the text messaging, dude, like. That was huge. It was. That was, that. <laughs> Put it this way, if if that wasn't in this, this movie would not be nowhere near as good. You know what I'm saying? That played that that text messaging aspect was almost like a character in itself. Yes. It was a you very, know what I mean? Yeah. I like how you said that, yo, because it was it was really to me and to you because you've seen it, it was mm-hmm. really important the way that they pulled that off. It was yeah. really, it was a matter of fact, kudos to whoever's idea it was. Kudos mm-hmm. to whoever said whoever put it in the movie because that was a really good idea and very effective. Very, very, yeah. very effective. And that's yeah. another reason why I would like to see a full length film of this is because mm-hmm. which I didn't mean to cut you off, but you just no, you sparked me. But because that now imagine seeing that in like a full length like this being the full length yeah. feature and seeing that in the full length film. Yeah. And it's just kind of you know what I mean? I, I mm-hmm. like that aspect. It's it's something yeah. that's simple. 
mm-hmm. but powerful and really stands the yeah. fuck out. Right. Really stands out. And you know what? You're right. I rated this a little bit too low, so I'm going to add some bacon and cheese to this. I'm also going to give it an eight. I had to change it. I had to add the bacon and the cheese because she didn't have enough seeds. That's, right. That's all right. Sorry but, about the dog. <laughs> Um, seasoning too. Heard bacon and cheese and yeah, got excited. Yeah, she heard bacon and cheese. She's ready to get some bacon and cheese. No, I apologize for that, but no, like like you said, um, yeah, uh, the the way that it played a character in the movie was just it it, it kept you enthralled. You didn't lose it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You no, didn't I- lose it. You didn't. Um, you didn't uh she had lost my train of thought. Can we um can we pause this quick? Yeah, one second. All right. So yeah, now that you got your train of thought back. Shoot. Oh <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> like I was saying, like with with that, like like we were just discussing about how the texting was like its own character. Mm-hmm. And that was that was like you said that was a good point that I hope Hollywood can see and do that because you know it's just it, like I said previously I feel like if it wasn't for that aspect of it it just wouldn't have hit as hard as it did you know what I mean like everything that was going on wouldn't have hit as hard as it did as you're able to you know what I'm saying yeah kind of like feel it. I agree. I agree. And that's why I feel, again, going back to it real quick, I know we keep bringing this part up, but once you guys see this short film, you'll see why. Mm -hmm. It would work in a lot of different types of horror movies, too, to where, I mean, it's just, because sometimes it could be one of those stupid texts that's not that important, but your phone goes off loud when the killer's in the room with you. Or it could be something important, like how, which I don't want to say, but there was a very important text message or two in this movie that, uh, you know, you'll see. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say mm-hmm. about that is you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but with this, really quick, I just want to say uh, this movie was written and directed by, because I have it right up here on the screen, by Adam Kirkley. So great job to Adam Kirkley. And then I'm going to read the names as they come up on the credits. Next, assistant director, Matthew Lamarch. Again, if I'm if I'm pronouncing anybody's names wrong, I swear I apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. But assistant director Matthew Lamarch. Oh, produced by both of those gentlemen. Monica Zelk. I'm guessing she's the actress in the movie, which I thought she did a really good job. Really good job. Just add more seasoning to the food, Monica. That's all I ask. Just add yeah. more seasoning to the food. And by the way. <laughs> I would love to interview any of you guys. And this goes to anybody that I do this segment for, these indie shorts. We would love to get you guys on for interviews. That's me, Horror Gamer, me, and whoever else. But yes. Absolutely. Because it would be fun. The hell yeah. <laughs> Matthew Bell was also a part of this film. Music by Steph. Oh, man. Kowal. K O W A L. Great job. Then, yeah, again, the, everybody, oh, voice talent. Amanda, what is up with these people in these names that I can't pronounce? Or sp- Boucher, Boucher, B-O-U-T-U-R-E-U-E-R, it looks like. Again, mm-hmm. I apologize, people. I have no clue how to pronounce these names. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry. You you know what else, boss? I was just thinking. I don't think there was one bit of dialogue in this movie. Holy shit. I don't think one word was said. Holy shit. Shout out to Brock Terra, T-E-R-I-H. But you're correct about that, yo. which, Which makes this movie... Something because I mean, like, yeah, you you don't want a whole hour and a half long movie with no dialogue, and but with this movie, but the short, it worked really, really well. Yeah, 
worked just well. Like with with everything that happened, it worked well. Because mm-hmm. there's a certain scene which I want to talk to you about when we're done recording that I want to say because I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I get your thoughts on it. But it worked really well the way it I mean, yeah. I you're right. There was no dialogue. It didn't no. even realize it until you said it. And I'm just like, wow. But it was something different. It was something different. I think you guys did an excellent job with this. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Mm-hmm. Special thanks, Airbnb, Margaret, Pauden, P-A-U-D-Y-N. This is why I don't read people's names usually, because <laughs> they're tough. Yeah. But again, you guys definitely go check this out. Like I said, I'll have the actual movie link down below. And as far as the um, YouTube channel, that will be at the end of the video. Definitely go check this out. Definitely, definitely, definitely go check this out, because I thought it was a fun film, a great fun film. I would love to see more. And um, yeah, this is good. Real quick, Horror Gamer. You do your plugs first this time, man, actually. Okay. okay. All right, I'll go first this time. Well, you can hit me up on Twitter at Horror Gamer. Um, the O's and the E are zeros and three. So it's H zero R R zero R G A M three R. And um, you could also find me on YouTube where I put up daily videos. So um, don't forget when you go there, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way every time Boy Hard Gamer does throw up a new video, you're always in the know. And you'll be the first to see it. And um, I love you guys. And just thank you guys for everything y'all do for me. And back to you, my friend. Well, my turn now. Really quick, people. Horror Research 30 on Facebook. I have a Facebook group and a gr- Facebook page. The group is for anybody and everybody to feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own content. Horror Gamer knows firsthand because he does it all the time, which I love it. So, including your own content. Um, the Facebook page is strictly for the podcast. I drop all my podcast content on there as well as videos like this, but Videos like this go on both the page and the podcast page. The podcast also have my update. You know, the podcast page have like my news updates or whatever. Once this whole COVID bullshit is fucking gone and cons are back and we can go out and so you know do some fun stuff. And yeah, um, that's a Facebook group, Facebook page. I have a Twitch channel, which I t- I'm telling you guys within the next few weeks. I don't keep saying a few weeks, few weeks, few weeks, but as far as like with the camera and all that shit will be up to date. I may be on this. F- oh, no, what? This will be actually this will be out <laughs> all the right. I might have played last night, Saturday night after the fights. and I may have played Friday night. <laughs> We're recording this on a Monday, but this won't be out till Sunday. So, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, I'll have my whole like setup shit. I got to get one or two more things, I believe. So you guys can like hear me and see me and all that stuff on camera while I'm gaming. But yeah, so horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. If you ever want to come on this show, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. And that's to, for if you want to come on here to review and all whatever else we do. Review movies, talk some horror for an interview. You know, if you're a director, producer, actor, actress, etc. YouTuber, gamer, podcaster, whatever the case may be, come on here and shoot the shit talking some horror. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Audio podcast for my audio slash video shit. Well, the audio, Podbean, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, anywhere else you can listen to podcasts. And if you just want to watch the videos that I do, watch me and my awesome guests, or just watch me in the videos I do alone, go to YouTube, horror with sir sturdy. What more can you ask for? And definitely check out my guy, Horror Gamer. He has some dope fucking content. And like I said in the previous video, I'm going to give you that little teaser again. You're going to be seeing me and him and some other awesome content creators working together a shit ton very, very soon. (laughs) Remember the letter Z. That's all you're getting from me. (laughs) As always, Horror Gamer, thank you again for coming on, man. I had a great fucking time. Thank you, sir. And to the listeners, to the viewers, to everybody out there, I'll see you in your nightmares. 
And I still don't give a shit about Nicolas Cage. 